Hey guys, it's Trisha, the left-handed stitcher. I'm here tonight to do an update. It's been a while since I've actually done an update, so I realized that earlier today and I even though I've been putting up videos, I haven't just done an update, so that's what I'm doing now. So tonight I have two finishes to show you. Yay! Uh, progress on my two whips and I'm going to show you my projects I have planned for the additional mini cells from the cross stitch. It's fun. Facebook group. And I also, yeah, haul. I got quite a bit of haul, but you know, then again, it's been accumulating since the last time I did my update. So, first, my finishes. This is Lizzie Kate's Teaching is a Work of Heart. I did this for the coat cell, and this was a lot of fun to do. It's a nice quick stitch. Um, it, when I stitch this again, I plan to do the Weeks Dye Works in the books in the apple, but I'm going to do DMC in the words, because you can't really see the variegation in the words. So, And if you know, uh, you probably noticed, I started edging my fabric to conserve on, on fabric, on stitching fabric. Because I was plan you know, I was planning out my minis and I realized the piece of fabric I got from 123 Stitch, if I didn't do my usual four inch borders, I could get two minis out of the same fabric. So I had to do this once before with a kit that, you know, gave me practically an inch and a half of margin to work with. So what I do is I give it a two inch, actually a two and a quarter inch margin, and then I serge on a two and a quarter inch strip of fabric. And this works wonderfully, wonderfully in my key snap. So I think this is what I might be doing, uh, not all the time, but quite often from now on. And when I go to finish it, you know, if it's a wall hanging or a pillow, you know, that will get cut off. If it's a framed piece, I can leave the fabric on because you know it'll be nice it, it it will when you lace it because I do lacing it will create a more even pulling of your fabric because some of this even we have fabric tends to the individual threads tend to shift a lot when you pull on them so I think that's going to work out. I'll let you guys know when I do my first framing of one of these pieces. And, oh, let, oh hey, let me show you, let me show you how to fold it up to get the effect. Check out the fabric I found at Joann's. To go with it. That's perfect. I love it. So these are going to be made into little wall hangings. That is that. And another finish. This. I bought these from online company Uline. I bought a carton of them. They were kind of pricey, but that's what I store my big projects in. And I love them. So here we go. Here is the finished lighthouse. 
Random lighthouse, what I called it. I finally finished all these little scallop patterns. That took me a lot longer than I thought it would. And it was, I mean, it was a lot more time intensive than I thought it would be. And a lot more floss intensive. I, g I got into my third skein of this floss. But it looks awesome. It looks awesome. And my mother-in-law loves it. She absolutely adores it. So... We haven't quite yet decided how we're going to frame it, but that's going to be her decision. Alright. Whips. Two whips. Here is my, make sure I got it up the right way, my Frosted Pumpkin Christmas. As you can see, I am halfway with that border. Yoo-hoo! And that's what prompted my update today, because I had to move the Q-snap, so I figured this was a good time to show you guys my progress. I finished this little snowman down here, so I'm actually slightly more than halfway. But, yep, I'm doing pretty good. It's taken me a while, but that's alright. I'm not in a hurry to get this done. But it is my on-the-go project. So my uh, waving American flag hasn't been touched. Okay, so put that down. And here's my other whip. My emerald mermaid. I got a little bit, I hadn't touched her in a while, but I got a little bit more done during a hangout the other night. So she's still a lot of fun to stitch. And she's gonna be gorgeous when it's done. Okay. Now I'm going to show you my plans for the mini sows that were added to the calendar since the last time I showed. And I'm waiting. Okay. The first one is the malicious, malicious, no, malicious, I can't say it. <laughs> the next sal to start. <laughs> On the 30th, I think it is. Uh, it's supposed to be something that makes you laugh. And I picked this guy. It's called Cool Cardinal. He's based off a uh, Autobahn design done by a guy named Harper. He did a lot of drawings for birds for the Audubon Society. So I saw him when I, on a blog, probably about a year ago, and I was like, wow, that's cool. I love it. But there was no, no indication of what it was. So I'm tooling around on 123 Stitch. Trying to find a candidates for a couple of the mini sals, and I came across him, and I was so happy. I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm getting him. I'm getting him. He is just gorgeous. I love cardinals." So the next one, let's see if I can do this for the patriotic. I am doing Old Glory. It's one of the Pearls series done by Sam Sarah Designs. Just a cute little thing. For the Retro. I found this free on the internet. Retro Pac-Man. <laughs> that just, I saw this and I was like, oh, that's going to be perfect. That's going to be perfect. <laughs> Alright, for the... Uh, snack Shack, the food related one. Get it to turn right. I'm doing <gasps> Bon Appetit. It's from Lizzie Kate's Halloween Thrilogy pamphlet. I figured the term kind of lent itself to food related, and this is so cute. 
And then for the Halloween, I'm doing this one. This is from the 2012 Just Cross Stitch Halloween Collector's Issue. So, he's gonna be fun. And then for the Lavender and Lace for January 1, I'm doing Celtic Christmas. I've loved this pattern since I first saw it, and I finally just got around to buying it. And I actually bought, I actually ordered it before they announced that they were doing a Lavender and Lace sale next year. So when they did, I was like, yes, that's perfect. Alright, now, there's a few that I haven't, haven't gotten something for. Um, the Harry Potter sale. I enjoyed the movies. I haven't read the books. Not a big fan, so I might not do this one. I might find something eventually that works, but right now, mm. the Harvest sale. I got something in mind. I haven't haven't decided yet. I got a couple candidates. The Gloria and Pat sale. Um, not big on precious moments. So, mm, probably gonna pass on that one. And then the Teresa Wensler cell, 2016 June. Haven't figured out what I'm doing for that yet. We'll see. I gotta, I gotta look through, gotta look through her, her stuff and figure out what speaks to me. Okay, that's what was that. On to haul. Okay, I'm gonna preface this by saying, of course, like I mentioned, this has been accumulating since the last update. And um, also recently, I had a repair to my car. We knew it was coming because I could hear the noise when I drove. It was, we more or less knew it was going to be a CV joint issue in the driver's side. So I budgeted, I budgeted $2,000 for it because I just didn't know how much it was going to cost and I didn't want to be caught short when I finally took it in to get fixed. So. I got it fixed and it cost 850 Still a chunk of change, but not as much as I thought it was going to be. And then I had had a little bit of cash to play with. So I've been ordering a few things. Not a, not a huge amount, but quite a few. Alright, so let's start. Let's start with... Okay, like I said... I ordered this pattern. I love him. He's awesome. And so I pulled DMC floss for him. And I gotta show you something. The pattern wants you to use these two colors for cardinal. Now it looks kind of okay on the camera. But in real life, let me pull this up. It, this color, the what they call light red, is 606. Which I look it up in my little DMC chart. And 606 is right here in the orange section. Because I was like, I, I was like, I knew that was orange. I was looking at it going, that's an orange color. So I decided to swap it with this color. So you see the... Again, this doesn't look as orange on the camera as it does in real life. So my Cardinal is going to have these two colors in him. So. And I I had ordered some, some Krennic. I got a couple of spools for a specific project and then I ordered three more just random ones and I just happened to order 
white number 032 and I realized I can use it for the snow in this project and it's going to be so cool now the fabric I am going to I'm going to do it with I get to use this piece of fabric from Picture This Plus that I ordered as a candidate for the mermaid and it didn't work out. So I'm thrilled that I found a use for it. I'm using the piece of Nocturne that I ordered. It's a nice gray blue which is going to be perfect for a wintry sky. I love it. And the red and the white is just going to pop right off of it. Love it. Alright. Let's put you down there. And you too. Oh yeah. I've seen a few people who have shown they got these recently. The ones with the actual floss. I've had this guy for a long time. Um, well this one been some years. Give me a second. Give me a second. I want to show you something. I gotta get over to my cabinet over here and see if I can grab grab it. Oh, here we go. Sorry. <laughs> Here's my original. My original. This one I've had for a couple couple decades. But since this one was made, you know, they'd put out several several more colors, including, you know, several lines of new floss. So I looked I got this at one of the craft stores. I think it was it was probably Hancock Fabrics, because I got this when I was a teenager. Um when I went when I wanted to buy a new one. Off. I couldn't find it anywhere. So I went online and I did a search for it and I ended up having to actually order this thing from DMC. But I was thrilled to find one because I use it all the time. I love I love these sample charts. Cause this one they included variations and the linens and the light effects so that was awesome worth the money and the effort to find it very 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 much so all right next thing is i got the pattern for old glory it's such a cute cute little pattern and I ordered, I got, I got the button, tiny little star button that goes with it, and the colors of floss. Classic color works. We got house wine, old blue jeans, antique lace, and sassy brown. Pattern only uses a tiny bit of this, but I am glad I ordered it because look at that variation in the color. So the next project I use it on, it's it's gonna look awesome. So, and I ordered a. I got several pieces of fabric already prepped in my, you know, adding fabric to the edges method. Um, out in my portfolio that I use to keep stuff in. Um, so these are ones that I haven't had a chance to do. So just a piece of 32 count Platinum Laguna is what I'm doing this little pattern on. And of course it is tiny so I'm going to have a fair amount of this fabric left to do another project with. I got in my shamrock circle 
pattern that I'm doing for one of the mini cells. This one is so neat. And the recommended thread for the green is this stuff. I have a variation in that. It's actually a sulky. They call it, what do they call it? Uh, there's a name for it. Blendables. Yep. 12 weight blendables. I'm, I'm gonna have, um, you know, first time using this, so I'll let you guys know how, how it works. But I'm looking forward to it, because it's such a cool green color in the variation. Mm. So there's that. It's there. And I got my pattern in for the pocket sampler for Dad. This is my Father's Day stitch, and I got it from Stony Creek. It came with the charm. I got a good deal on it, so I'm happy, because that charm, way overpriced, normally. But I got a good deal. Very good deal. Alright, so I got, well, the fabric for that guy. Where did I put him? Oh, he's out. Out somewhere. Uh, but anyways, I think I got a. I think I got the stuff they recommended. Let's see, it was uh, natural Belfast linen. I think that's what I got. Thirty-two count. And the threads used in this one. Okay, let me separate them. I've got. Three weeks dye works. One is Twilight. I got Caper and Coco. And then in Gentle Art Sampler Threads, I got Brandy and Dried Time. And then the Gentle Art Simply Shaker. Yep, sampler threads. I got Brethren Blue Harvest Basket. Straw Bonnet. And Chamomile. Now check out this palette of threads. Does that just not scream manly? I love it. <laughs> Put those away. Those down there. Next thing is, oh, let me take it out of the package so we don't get a bunch of glare. Took most of the things out of the package already, so I don't know why this one was still in its package. I got my cat hair. Cat hair is just another specialty fiber. <laughs> so funny. That's a, my big toe design, so I got this from 123 Stitch. And I picked up, I think like I said in my video before, I'm doing DMC's for this one, it, all except for the cat's face. I got two skeins of amber. But I don't know why I got two. I must have added, added it to my cart and then added it again because I don't think it's going to take uh, two <laughs> for, this, for just that, that cat's face. So, But then I got one for the next next pattern that calls for it. I was looking for a stained glass motif pattern to do because I just had a had a hankering for to do one. 
and I looked through several and I finally found these bookmarks. They are done, they're from the Imaginating Company and they're designed by Linda Bird. I think I got this off 123 Stitch as well. But I, unless something else comes to mind for the Something New Mini Sal, I'm gonna do this one. Um, Cause the plan I had for my um, new, something new, the Shades of Gold, yeah that one's put on hold. Well I'm fine with it, I'm fine with it cause that was a big one, big one, so I'm, where I could I tried to keep my mini cells actually mini. Uh, so yeah, the Crazy Annie I ordered the Shades of Gold Dinky Dice pack from and she's having a bit of a rough time. She sent out a nice long email and just letting everybody know and kind of asking for people's patience. She's trying really hard to get caught up. Life has been kind of difficult for her lately. And so I emailed her back and I said, don't worry about it. I gave her my order number. I said, I don't need mine anytime soon. You can send it when you get the chance. So that's fine. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with that because I already had this in mind. So it's cool. Uh, I love it. Stay I have an affinity for stained glass. I learned how to do stained glass some years ago. So I really appreciate the design. That's going to be fun. Now, um, I had seen this one in a Google search quite some time ago. And I'd done, I did a snip of it to keep it, you know, in my file for stuff, ideas, and I thought I was going to do it for the Patriotic Mini until I saw the pearls. Oh glory, that one's just so cute. Um, but I definitely will do this one sometime. I've already got threads for it. And speaking of, do I have threads? Yes, and I don't know where they're at right now. They came in some time, so they were kind of lost in the shuffle. They're somewhere. Um, I'll just tell you which ones they are. So, this is Liberty Square. It's a part of the Bitty Bud series, um, done by designer that goes by the name of For My Boys. It's out of print. Out of print. I thankfully. I posted a picture of this on the Facebook site and asked for help and some folks were really helpful. I got a link to a website that had one in stock and I immediately ordered it because I love, love, love this pattern. So um, it uses sampler threads in cranberry, flax, gold leaf and midnight and that's gonna be gorgeous I'm still trying to figure out what fabric I want to do it on do I want to do it on a dark blue like it has or do I want to switch it up maybe a light blue for a light blue sky or maybe a neutral I don't know I'm still thinking about it moving on I got my spider banner that I'm doing for the AAN stitch. This is the one, one of the bigger ones for a mini sow. But I have been wanting to do this one for a while, so this is a nice excuse for me to start. And I got 36 count tarnished silver linen to do this on. I seen a stitched model done up on this and it's awesome so I tracked it down and I ordered it. So 
I am I'm really looking forward to this one. That one's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> now, funny thing is, I took a bunch of my patterns over to Staples, you know, to get enlarged copies made for my working copies. I got most of them. This one, it's a huge pattern. Holy, holy moly, this thing. Huge pattern. They had to do it on the large format printer, and then when they showed me the copy, I couldn't accept it because it had striations through it where the the ink had interrupted for some reason. So I told them, yeah, your large format printer needs some maintenance done on it. And then I will come back at a later date to get this, get my pattern enlarged for this thing. I have until October, so no problem. Right, moving on, I got my Lizzie Kate kit. Normal is just a setting on the washer. Little kit, it comes with the button pack and the fabric. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to do DMCs for this one. I'm pretty sure. I'm looking at it and going, I really don't see see the variegation enough to to warrant getting the variegated hand eyes. Yeah. Aren't those cute little buttons? Holy moly, look. Scale. <laughs> They're tiny. Now I'm not using the red one the, the little heart because that just looks awkward on the pattern where it's placed. I just now the pink buttons they they go they work but that charm just doesn't work that's okay this one is gonna be fun and it's perfect because my family yeah this is a model for us oh, let's see I got I picked this one up while I'm at it good things come to those who stitch this will be a cool little pattern to do sometime and in this one you know, like I said, words, I'm really thinking I don't need the variegate for. But I'll probably do the variegated for the heart block and the flower block. Because you can actually see the variegated in that one. And maybe the little border around. Gotta save money where you can. And then I saw this one on somebody's blog and when I saw it on one two three stitch I just it fell into my cart this is bubbles imaginating incorporated and designed by Ursula Michael so maybe if we do an Ursula Michaels Sal this will be my stitch that's such a cool cool pattern I love it Alright, what do I have left? I guess I told you it was a bit, but again, it's been accumulating. Right. I remember I t showed you I was going to do the little cute bloom pattern for my flower power. And I ordered the recommended floss for it this time, because I'd stitched it up last time using DMCs. Super cute, but I wanted to try it with the the hand dyes. So we have Gentle Art Sampler Threads in Spring Grass. Uh, another Gentle Art Orange Marmalade. Such pretty colors. This is Crescent Colors in Embers. And Crescent Colors in Purple Aster. Pretty purple. And then two weeks dye works. Purple Majesty. Look at that deep purple. Gorgeous. And I'm in love with this color. Strawberry Fields. But check out. I'm going to hold them all up together. 
so you can see. Give me a sec. Check out that palette. <laughs> it's gonna be such, such a cute little stitch. I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. All right. Now, like I said, I ordered some uh, some Krennic. Two things to possibly use with um, a project. So these were, I'll show you. I got some kits. I got some kits to show you. But I, the, one of them has some gold blending filament in it, and I know it's an older kit. So having worked with the blending filament from kits before, I decided to try replacing it with a Krennic. Or if I can't find the right Krennic shade, I'll try try some Petite Treasure Braid. But I got 202HL, the High Luster Gold. And I picked up 002V. Uh, v is for vintage, so it's vintage gold. And then the, other than the white, I showed you the two random ones that I picked to get were, it's 015, pretty green. And then 092, pretty pink. I love pink. And like I saw on somebody somebody's video, wonderful. I think it might have been Mondot. Mondot stitches. I'll have to look it up and see and verify that. If it's different, I'll put it down in the bottom. She showed an awesome Krennic storage. She got it from Cabela's. My nearest Cabela's. Let's see, I either have to drive over to Texas or over to mm, Arizona near Phoenix or north to Colorado around Denver. Colorado, no, Colorado Springs, right at the southern edge of it, I think it's there. We've made the Colorado trip before. We love driving up there because it's green. It's a nice drive. But it's a little bit long just for a shopping trip. The one in Texas is... Amazon Maps says it's like a 4 hour 40 minute drive from where I'm at. But that goes through the mountains up through Cloudcroft and through over through Roswell and that's a you know single lane road twisty mountain so I'm not quite sure how accurate that is I am waiting for my husband to get back I'll see if he's up for a drive maybe we'll make a take a weekend trip up to Colorado Springs to get out of this desert. Oh god, I hate the desert. <sighs> so, I'm trying to find that storage. It's like a shotgun shell ammo storage box. They don't sell it on their website. You gotta go to a store and get it. So, I'll get it sometime, someday. I'll manage. Alright, one other thing I ordered and I got from Staples, I had the little rewards coupon, or little rewards thing, you know, bonus I guess they call it, to use up, so I used it on a box of orange highlighters, because I use yellow and orange when I'm marking on my charts. You can find multi-packs of yellow everywhere. But uh, you couldn't find it in stores. I don't, this was online. So I was having to buy, you know, the multi-color packs in order to get the orange. And so I got, I got so many highlighters. 
running around just so I could have oh, orange. So I got a box. Happy, happy, happy. I mean, this box should last me possibly my entire stitching lifetime. From now on, maybe. We'll see. Okay, now I'm going to do the kits. I, you know, I haven't been doing kits a lot lately. But there's some that I've, I've seen and I've been wanting to get for a while. And, I, you know, I still do kits occasionally when I see one that really speaks to me. I saw this one on... I don't know if it was oh, YouTube or if it was somebody's blog when I was doing some searching. Okay, we'll see if we can do this without glare. Too bad. Yep. I don't do mornings. I love this. So cute. This is a Heritage Crafts kit. And it, I, could, I ordered it from so-and-so, you know. I had it shipped here. Um, I actually got, they had an option to get even weave with it, so I chose even weave for the pattern. Uh, this one's so cute. And then, like I said, stained glass. I was looking for stained glass patterns. I saw this one a while back, and I actually got this one off of eBay for a decent price. It is this pretty one. An older Janlin kit, stained glass rose. I don't think that this one's in production anymore. So, so pretty. Love it. Okay. And I, oh, this is the most recent one I ordered. Um, I almost bought it at Hobby Lobby with a coupon, of course. But it was $35, even with a coupon that would still be pretty significant for a kit. I saw this one a while back and it caught my eye and it's been, every time I see it, i just been like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that. So I finally ordered it. Amazon had it for an awesome price. So I ordered it. It is Mason Jar Lineup. So pretty. Something about this just spoke to me. So, I get it. and this one is the kit that I have been hankering for for the longest. I I just see it and I keep thinking, oh, I'm going to get that, and I just never do. I finally, finally got around to getting it. It is Oriental Orchids. I love this one. And it's cool. It's super cool. It has a semi-printed background. To give it just a little bit of ambiance, but the stitching does do most of the work, which isn't just is nice. Um, like I said, show you gold blending filament. Pain in the butt to work with, so I'm gonna try to replace it with the Krennic. No, let me see. I haven't yet kind of done a comparison. Uh, well, those two golds don't quite show. This one's much more yellow. So I'll have to search some more to find the right replacement for it. Yep. Alright. So that's it. That's everything. Mm. So, what else? Um, my husband's coming back in about a month. Oh my god. 
month and some change left, so I am looking forward to that. I do okay when he's gone, but I much prefer him here. Very much so. Alright, um... I have been actually hearing my name in people's YouTube videos recently, which just... I'm flabbergasted. I honestly... I am so honored that people are like the videos I'm doing. I'm just... Because I love watching you guys and I'm so happy that I'm able to contribute to this wonderful community. I love it. So, I am going to say goodnight now. Let's see if I can get this video processing. So maybe tomorrow I can get it up. Because I think I've been talking for a while. I don't know how long this is. We'll see. Oh, one more thing I wanted to say. I didn't bring it in here. But you already saw it, so I saw a video recently. I'm not, I can't quite remember for sure. The name that comes to mind is B. Flossy, but I will have to double check that. And if it's different, I'll put it in the, to give them credit. She was showing her subscription love loving food food love something like that and it looks so interesting i figured i would give it a try so i ordered i well i signed up for a six month subscription but i also was really curious about some of the things that she showed in the january box so they had the january box on sale you know as just buy it right now type thing it was a little bit more pricey than the subscription, but that's okay. It's okay. It's still a pretty, pretty decent price for what you get, and the fact that you, you're, you know, providing meals to charities for to combat hunger. But I got it today. I'm waiting till I get snacky, and then I'm gonna start digging into it. I'll see ya. let you guys know how I like it, but the video that showed it, thank you, thank you for showing that, because it's something very cool I wanted to try. Alright, so, I'm going to sign off now, finally. Well, Jennifer, I watched her videos tonight. And she was a joy to watch, and she said she loved long videos, so here you go, Jennifer. <laughs> Alright. Happy stitching, folks. We'll see you later. Alright, guys. <laughs> I am back. I There was one thing. I knew I was forgetting something. <sighs> I got this probably about four days ago. But, I finally got my fabric from Silk Weavers that I ordered in December and when I ordered it I asked them, I asked if I order this now will you guys be able to ship it to me so I can have it by the 30th of December oh yeah sure we can do that no no they can't so I finally got it I haven't opened it yet since I'm as far behind on the Under the Moonlight sale as I am, I decided I'm gonna wait wait until they've released all the all the parts. So I can see what the picture is and I can better strategize how I stitch it. You know, stitching something in parts is cool, but some stitches just it's makes it more difficult to strategize how you're going to do your stitches. I actually took a short little clip of video that I will input.
Yeah, as you can see in the video, they sent the information to the Postal Service days, I mean literally days and days before it actually got physically dropped off at the post office for shipping. And they love to send you an email when they send the shipping information to the Postal Service saying, your package has been shipped, when it doesn't actually hit the Postal Service system until days later. So, yep. Their fabrics are, are very good. They're very good. They're beautiful colors. They are color fast, which is awesome. Um, I don't, unless I'm in a bind, I am not ordering from Stuff's Fabbies again, unless there's something very special, because I have to do extra steps with her fabric, because it is not color fast. Not at all. So my fabrics right now that I can order, place I can order special fabrics from, is Silk Weavers and Picture of This Plus. I think sometime in the near future I'm going to try the pull stitches and probably color cascades. Now since they're overseas, probably pay a little bit more in shipping, but they might, you know, a lot of people have been raving, so I gotta try them. I gotta find out if, if I like them. So then I can add them to my list of possibles. So when I get ready to actually start on Under the Moonlight, I'll show you guys the fabric. I might, I'll probably open it before then, but right now I just don't feel like it. Because I was so frustrated waiting on this. Okay. Alright, so that is it for tonight. <laughs> Bye, guys. Mm.